In 2018, a Pokétuber by the name of MNJ TV uploaded a video called The 10 Types of Pokémon Players. So for every gym, I'm gonna play like those players would. The original video is linked in the description, but let's see where we're starting, shall we? All right, let's see what we're starting off with today. First type of Pokemon fan is the Gen 1-er. Uh, and I'll let Tokchik from Pokemon Talk number one to find this one. A Gen 1-er. He's one of the Pokemon fans that refuses to accept any of the newer Pokemon and only sticks with Generation 1. Based. To explain further, these Pokemon fans are ones who played the games, watched the anime, or traded the cards as a kid, but lost interest in the franchise as they grew older. Oh, I know exactly how they'll play. Don't mind me, just going to get my starter. Now let's have a look and see what we've got here. A Tototile? Sin de Quail? Chico Writer? What the hell is this? Yo, Professor Oak, there he is, the goat of the franchise. Don't know who this other fellow is next to him. He just gave me an egg, not sure what that is, but yo, what's up? Oh, finally a good Pokemon that I can catch here. Now I can get rid of this kind of quill or whatever and add a real mon to my team. That's right, it's the tiny bird. Now that I have goose on my side, I don't need kind of quill or whatever its name is. You can go in the PC. In, fa in fact, I really don't need you. Let me put you right at the back of the PC. See, these Johto morons, they don't know about the Gen 1. They're out here using Sentrets and kind of quills. This youngster Joey fella, <gasps> wait. He's smart. He's got himself a rat, but I'm pretty sure Goose has got this. Go on, Goose. I believe in you. The Goose did not have this. There's only one solution. I need more Gen 1 monsters. A Caterpie. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all coming together now. Goose meat junk. And a Geodude as well. Don't mind if I do. The greatest gym leader in the world. Brock used one of these bad boys. And a rat as well. Brilliant. I feel a little bit like those people that go on holiday to a different country and only eat chips and chicken nuggets. I'm saying I didn't come to Johto to partake in the local culture. Joey, I've returned with an army of Gen 1 Mons. That's better. Well done, Goose. Now we have an impossible to defeat OG squad. Did you just miss tackle, Goose? All right, I'll let Brog take care of this because he has the type advantage. I remember that from Blue. Brock always was a smart man who never did anything bad or harassed anyone ever. That's my gym leader. He can do no wrong. And a bell sprout as well? Ooh, Erica would be proud. Don't mind if I do. Oh, ew, Ethan, what are you walking around with? The hell is that, a Pika Blue? Yeah, Johto really is just a B-Tech can Hello, sir. And smaller, sir. Do I have a bell sprout? Well, I just got one. I do. An onyx? Well, I mean, if you're offering. I'm building the team of my goat in Brock we trust, and he will bring us victory. Oh, yeah. Send over. Rocky. Rocky. Really? That's what we're calling it? Sprout Tower. Wait, as in bell sprout? But that's Cantonian. My god, they're stealing our thing. This is cultural appropriation. Listen, I'm saying you have a right idea, but you can't just go and make tourist attractions about this. Bell sprouts are very important to me. Have you seen that mouth? All right, Sage, what you got? I've got a boat to pick with you, actually. I'm gonna file a formal complaint against this entire tower. Oh, the Sage is using Hoot Hoots as well. I'm not sure if I should be happy or sad about that. But of course, as we know, this dumb normal flying type from Johto is no match for my Cantonian god S. You're a female, sorry. He just gave me the TM for Flash. You know, back in the good old days, this used to be a HM and we liked it. I can't believe kids these days get away with using reusable TMs. No HMs. Back in my day, your sleep turns would reset every time you switched out and we liked it. It was fun. All right, Rocky, come on. We'll show them what the real first gym leader is supposed to be using. Go on, Faulkner. Let's go. Starts off with a Pidgey. Ooh, okay. Is it immediately annihilated? No, it's not. Uh, okay. It must just be an off day for Rocky. Let's ignore the fact that it has 45 base attack, which is lower than Oddish. Another rock seals the deal. Oh, and your ace is Cantonian as well, is it? Ooh, what's wrong? Is there not enough Generation 2 Pokemon for you to use? Is there a distinct lack of Generation 2 Pokemon in the region that they're supposed to be native to? You? Especially when it comes to representation in gym leaders and elite four members? Are the generation two Pokemon weaker? They actually suck. Rocky, why did you miss that? Rocky, this is not supposed to go this way, you idiots! That's okay, I have Brog who has no rock type moves apart from polish. I personally think we should ban spamming roost in gym battles. It's a little cheap. Come on, Goose. I know you're not quite a Pidgeotto, but I still believe that you can do this. The Goose is loose! Well done, buddy! And oh, that's weird. Just after getting that gym badge, I have a strong desire to use literally any other Pokemon apart from generation Generation one. What do we have next? Player. This is the Pokemon player that progresses through the games at their own pace, 
using the Pokemon that they think look the coolest, even if they're not the strongest. As they play through, they're not worried about their Pokemon's EVs, IVs, nature, or even ability, and their team might end up being a little imbalanced in regards to type matchups. Oh, I know exactly what I did when I first started playing. When I was a casual player, I'd grab my starter, give it the most generic name I could think of, and then only use flame, baby. Ooh, a Hoppip. A new Pokemon? Do I want to catch it? Uh, no, of course I don't want to catch it. I don't have time for this. I'm a Reap. That looks cool. Catching it? <laughs> no. Go on, flame. Destroy them all. If you're not spamming your starter, making it incredibly overleveled, then you're not playing Pokemon right. Or at least that's what I thought when I was five years old. What's that? Flame is evolving before the big cave? Mmm, just as planned. Oh, it looks like we're coming up to a massive cave. This is probably full of hikers that have ground types, rock types, everything that's good against me. It might be a good idea to catch some water types or grass types, but I'm not gonna do that, obviously. Onyx? <laughs> I'll just spam Ember until I win. There's no time for tactics. I need to feed more souls to flame. He has an undying hunger for the souls of innocence. And also really likes using Ember. Now I could go around and get all those items, but to be fair, when I was a casual player, I didn't really care about picking up items. My thought process was, why would I need items? When flame absolutely comesters and dumpsters everything I come across. Pokeballs? Psh, yeah, what am I gonna use those for? Now I'll just take a quick detour to destroy Team Rockets, which has proven to be no issue at all because flame is ridiculously powerful now. Absolutely annihilating every Team Rocket grunt here. Flame can do anything. Flame could run for president. Vote for Flame. Flame will burn down inflation and probably your house. Speaking of burning things down, we're learning Flame Wheel even better. The two greatest inventions in human history, fire and the wheel. It's a little unfair to battle someone who only has one Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Do you know who this is that you're talking to? Stupid kids, I can beat you easy. Shut up, kids, I hate stupid kids. Uh-oh, it's Bugsy with the bug types. I wonder how this is gonna go. Oh, Scyther, well, that's very impressive. You're leering at me, very nice. Would be a shame if Flame were to, oh, I don't know, absolutely send you to the Shadow Realm and went, oh, what? Not one hitting a Pokemon with my overleveled behemoth is an absolute failure, Flame. You should be ashamed. But Metapod and Kakuna, oh, they die in one hit, brilliant. And now we have the second gym badge. I kind of feel like maybe we do need some more teams. In fact, maybe we need more than that even. Next up, competitive battler. <laughs> battler. These type of Pokemon fans love one of the game's most central mechanics, battling so much that they prefer to battle real people rather than basic NPCs. But in order to win against another real person, which is going to be much smarter than a regular old NPC, you have to be using the strongest Pokemon available to you since that's what your opponent's going to be doing. This results in competitive battlers caring a lot about a Pokemon's EVs, IVs, base stats, nature, ability, and available moves since those determine how good a Pokemon is. All right. Well, unfortunately, I can't battle any real people because I don't have friends, but we have the gang back together once again. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna EV train my flame against Spearow, which gives one speed EV every time you defeat it, which will help my speed get even better. Now, since it only gives one, it should only take about three business days. All right, finally, we've done it. My speed was 35 and now, oh, it's a... Crazy 45! Unfortunately, it has a minus speed nature, which means that it's basically useless and I should soft reset the entire game for a Pokemon that has a better speed nature, like a jolly nature or a timid nature, for example, but we don't have time for that now, unfortunately. So now I'm gonna use my cracked out speed to outspeed even some of the fastest Pokemon my rival has access to, like Ghastly, even as Croconaw's getting outsped. I'll even be using Smokescreen to lower his accuracy, which is banned in some forms of competitive battling, but not the official ones. So it's okay. And now that my opponent can't hit any moves, we hit him with a flame wheel. And even though we have a type disadvantage, we still win because we thought ahead of the time. And wow, there's a lot of hidden items in this forest, isn't there? In fact, there's so many hidden items that I was able to give all of my Pokemon items that would directly correlate with their statistics and roles in battle to make them better at fighting. Like our tank, Rocky has leftovers. Brog, a physical attacker, has a choice band. And Flame's a mixed attacker, so we gave it a life orb, which will increase all the damage that it does. Now, after 
after easily completing this quiz, which is also the first time a Pokemon competitive player has ever talked to a woman before, we must be ready for the gym. No, we're not ready for the gym. We don't have a team built for it yet. Look at this team. Do you see any fighting types on it? Do you see any fighting type moves on it? Oh, no, you don't, because this is a normal type gym. See, there's a guy here that wants to trade me a Machop, which would be really good against this next gym. But I have to get him a Drowsy first, which I can easily catch. Oh, I only have one Pokeball. Oh, no. I forgot I sold them. I got it down to red health. Now I have to throw the fastball. We have to pet the sub noodle for luck. Always pet the sub noodle for luck. Come on, baby. Stay in that ball. Let's go. Oh, my God. Is it? Yes. Now that I've easily caught that Drowsy with no issues whatsoever, I can trade it for the Machop. Mr. Muscles on the team. However, that's not going to be enough. See, it's good that he has a plus attack nature, but I'm also going to give Muscle the choice band. I'm also going to EV train it against Nidoran males, which give attack EVs to make my attack stat go even higher. And after about five years of fun gameplay. Wow, just look at that attack stat. Now we're finally ready to take on Whitney. But hold your horses before you attack. You have to spend at least 15 minutes staring at damage calculation spreadsheet to see how much damage you're gonna do. Okay, so we got a level 17 Clefairy, which Karate Chop's gonna do about 171% of damage. Should I go for it? Is it worth it? What if he predicts that and switches out? Mm, on the other hand, they could be holding a Chuckleberry, which will half the amount of damage a super effective fighting type move will do. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna click it. Oh God, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Anything could happen and oh, I one-shotted it. Who would have thought? Oh no, it's the dreaded Whitney's Mill Tank. Now there's not a whole lot I can do about this situation. Wait, I didn't get flinched, which means I didn't one-shot it? You can't use a super potion in a competitive battle. That's cheating. Get out of here, Whitney. Stop using potions. Why do you keep doing this? You're not allowed to do that. Oh, it looks like Karate Chop has done it. Well done, Mr. Muscle. I never would have predicted that you would be able to beat a normal type gym. All right, what's next? The next type of Pokemon fan is what I've decided to call the Gonely. Short for go only. As oh, the name no. implies, these Pokemon fans only play Pokemon Go, so their knowledge of the franchise as a whole is limited to what is in that game. Oh no. Okay, so I'm a little bit distraught because I haven't opened Pokemon Go since 2019, so we're gonna catch the first six Pokemon that I see after I open Pokemon Go. Open! Go is better with friends. I don't have those. Let's see. The first is a Hoppip! All right, I'll just catch this thing. Now we got a Snubble. All right, that's a bit better. Okay, we get a Mr. Mime as well. That's not bad. Oh, Pidove. I... <laughs> I can't use this. And a Lunatone, all right. This team is really weird. And a Chinchou, okay. I did it, I got them. Okay, the gang's all here, apart from Pidov, who sadly couldn't make it today. But honestly, for the fourth gym, I think we've got a pretty good setup. Mr. Mime is gonna be invaluable, I think. Uh, I totally forgot you have to get the freaking watering can from this bloody person. No, oh, you got a gym badge. I guess you can use this squirt bottle then. It's like not being able to buy a wrench until you win at least three boxing matches. But Pen's gonna be great for this because I have Light Screen and Encore. Light Screen gonna make it much easier to survive those special hits. Majority of the Lunatone has Hypnosis just in case I need to miss moves. Thanks, bud. With the Hoppip has a body that I can use as death fodder if needs be. And then we have the twins, Woober and Duper. They're not, they're not identical twins. Don't ask about that. And they're working together so well. Get a nice paralysis there, a big crit, a flinch. They're doing fantastic. Morty, bud, time to get back in the gym and stop being a lazy bum. Seriously, Morty's off over here on his jollies, exploring abandoned buildings while his gym is empty. I tell you, those young ones, they just don't want to work anymore. They don't know the value of a hard day's work. But now Pokemon Go will battle against Digimon. Oh, I bet Digimon wishes they had a Digimon Go equivalent. They'd make so much money from that. Why didn't they ever make one? I even managed to find a change.org petition that has the, the start development on a for Digimon Go. And it had 35 supporters. Come on, boys. 35 supporters? That's like twice as many Digimon fans as I thought already existed. Quick little pit stop to grab Surf for Duba. Much better than Bubble, I think. Just to 
slight bit of an upgrade. And now it's gym time. Ruba's gonna begin by eating the ghosts because I guess they taste good. Like foie gras with a bit of a Coca-Cola aftertaste. And he's evolving. I tell you what, Ruba, you can eat as many incorporeal beings as he wants. Now it's time to use my master plan against Morty. My master plan consists of two stages. Number one, use light screen. Number two, click the super effective button until I win. My God, it seems to be working. Now, come on, Pen. This is your biggest challenge yet. Mean look, you can't escape now. You're like a magician that's trapped in a box like Houdini. Is the side beam gonna do enough? Ooh, it's not quite there. But we still have one turn of light screen so we can dodge the hypnosis. Take out the Gengar with the side beam. Good job, Pen. My light screen's gone, but I think it's okay. I think this side beam's gonna do enough damage here. And then we get the gym badge. Well done. Pokemon Go makes your Pokemon overpowered. It must be all the walking they do. Time for the fifth Cutic. gym badge. Name Cutic. subject to change because it's supposed to be a combination of cute and attic, but it still kind of sounds weird, I, okay. I, but I just couldn't think of anything better. An amusing example of a cutic is my girlfriend Jubilee's mother. She has a self-applied rule that she must catch every single Jigglypuff she finds in Pokemon Go, and she will only send gifts to people on her friends list who have cute buddy Pokemon. She <laughs> That's actually kind of hilarious. All right, I know how to do this. I think that the cutic would be addicted to baby Pokemon. They love the little babies, so I've raided the nearest daycare and stolen all of the children from it. So now we have a Pichu, an Igglybuff, Drippy, a Wisp, a Kachan, and blah, 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 which I tried to match the Electabuzz from the anime cry. Now I have this elite team of Navy SEALs. There's no possible way I can lose any battles. Like this sailor here. Oh, you're gonna regret fighting me, buddy. I got Thundershot. Oh, it's a ground type, that's right. I got Slippy coming in with a pound, baby. Oh my God, that's a one shot. To be fair, it is quite a high level. Oh, hi, Ante. What are you doing here? Sorry, not cute. Oh, can't escape. Oh, oh, but he ran away. Great. And they said, you can't fire me. I quit. Now it's time I get down to the business of beating up people in a lighthouse, which is a regular occurrence. I like to keep myself strong and trained and everyone in lighthouses fear me. Just look at how Pikachu tears apart a Noctowl with a critical hit and destroys polywags and murders an ungodly amount of birds. Seriously, there's so many birds here. Why are there so many birds here? I just found a rare candy in the corner of the lighthouse. I'll give one to Cleffa. You deserve it. Wow. What? One statistical point increase. Don't worry, Jasmine, I'm here to help. You can't leave Amphi unattended? Well, Amphi should have thought about that before it got sick, shouldn't have. All right, Azuril, buddy, I'm not entirely convinced that you can carry my weight in the water, but go on, Drippy, in you go. Wow, you're so strong. Well, I guess it makes sense. It does have a huge power after all. And now I'm in Simon C. I have a very important thing to do here, because do you really have a baby if you don't post pictures on Facebook and Instagram? Uh, no. The gang's all here, apart from Cleffa who is not looking so good. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get a picture with Cleffa inside it as well. There we go. Fantastic. All right, it's time for my cartel of kids to take on karate masters and strongmen, which definitely is not child endangerment, no matter how much you might say that it is. I mean, look at Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Oh, These are no. Pokemon players who love the process of hunting for and finding rare alternate colored Pokemon using any of the countless shiny hunting methods that are in all of the games. Some prefer to find competitively viable Pokemon, but others just want to collect the shiny Pokemon or find one for a specific purpose, like a Okay, so the shiny odds in Hot Gold and Soul Silver are 1 in 8,192. So that's pretty rough. So I really hope that we can find one. Oh my god, a shiny Gyarados! There's no way! That was so quick! Who would have thought that we'd get one so fast? Well, that was way easier than I expected. <laughs> now I just have to catch it because if I fail this, then... Oh, wait, I can't fail because I've got Sob Noodle on my side. And when you pet the noodle, you get good luck. I've decided to call her Scarbrand, which is a suitably epic name. Unfortunately, I had to shorten it down because Scarbrand, the ruiner of cities, destroyer of countries, ruination of kingdoms, murderer of widows, and slaughterer of seven-year-olds that wouldn't fit in the nickname slot. Also need to add killer of Team Rocket onto this too. Ooh, that's a dead man. Just need to grab a couple passwords from the bodies of my enemies and then write the password with the blood of the fallen on the door. And it works! Scott Brand is having an absolute whale of a time destroying his enemies. He's just one-shotting everyone. This is amazing. I think using a shiny Gyarados and a Dragonite against even hardened criminals may be against the Geneva Convention, but rules were meant to be broken, weren't they? Oh yeah, we're doing absolute gangbusters on these idiots. <laughs> oh no, a gloom! We may not win this one, guys! I hope that Ice Fang does enough to kill. It didn't do enough to kill. That's awkward. Good thing Dragonite's about to use Fly and destroy- There we go. Well done, Dragonite. Good job. All right, now that we've massacred all the criminals and the Electro Genocide is also complete, it's time to get a little gym badge. Now you may be saying, Daniel, but Jasmine is the sixth gym leader. You're doing them out of order and- yeah, you're right, but Scarbrand, the ruination of cities and destroyer of worlds, is very scared of electricity. <laughs> the reason Price is strong. <gasps> is it because he's subscribed to the Paris YouTube account and watches the streams daily at 4 p.m. UK time? Uh, uh, he said yes. You didn't see, but he definitely said yes. All right, Price, listen, I appreciate a fan, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna go easy on you. I'm carrying the name of all good shiny hunters here. All the people that soft reset on starter Pokemon and enjoy playing briefcase simulation. All the people that roleplay as Pokemon breeders and do the Masuda method hatching eggs all day. All the people that grind out Dynamax adventures for some reason still in 2022. And all the complete masochists that still hunt full odds on older generation games with worse odds. Just so their pixels can sparkle a little bit of a different color. All of their hopes and dreams are packed into this one dragon rage. Oh, you healed. Okay. It's a couple dragon rages later and okay now. All of their hooks. Come on, man. Seriously? All of their hopes and dreams are in this dragon rage. Wait, I only have 20 health. Oh god, no, don't die, Scarbrand. Don't die, Scarbrand. It's a crit! Now, you know what? The hopes and dreams of shiny hunters being completely stamped on and crushed? That's actually very thematic. It makes sense. And me having to soft reset on the battle so I can do it again? Also super thematic. This time, though! This time, I win! This time, we get the shiny gym badge. We get the shiny gym badge. It sparkles. It's very beautiful. What do we have next? The next type of Pokemon fan is the obvious hacker. Oh. Now, I'm not talking about competitive battlers who gen in Pokemon to save time on breeding and training. I'm talking about the kids who just discovered how an action replay works and are going up to battle you with a team of all level 100 shiny legendaries with- Oh, I think I'm gonna have fun with this one. <laughs> all right, Scarbrand, let's take a closer look at you. First up, level 36. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. We need a level 100 for you. Have a look at those stats. Oh, those IVs are too low. Let's max those out and those EVs too will max those. And you know what? Let's just, let's just click this little button here. Yeah, let's just put them all up there. Wonderful. And these moves. Oh, I don't think so. We're gonna need Earthquake. and Flare Blitz. Yeah, why not? Let's throw a high jump kick on there for good measure. Make you nice and adamant for more attack. Oh yeah, now that's a Scarbrand. Looking good, buddy. Now we just need an item. So let's have a look around all the items that I found lying on the ground. Think about which one I want. Actually, you know what? I think Scarbrand needs a little bit of more of a boost to its physical attack. Let's go ahead and throw a choice band on our Boy, Jasmine, I'm ready for our gym battle. Oh, <laughs> she has no idea what's coming for her. <laughs> you idiots! Yes! 
die! Be destroyed and annihilated by Scarbrand! Thank you for the gym badge, I think that was very well earned. And I'm so proud that Scarbrand got over his fear of electric types. Number eight, that here we go! TCG fan. The TCG! The Pokemon card game is a large chunk of the Pokemon franchise that I'm admittedly not as familiar with, but it's a really important piece of that franchise that has a large loyal fan base. TCG fans can be divided into two subcategories. TCG collectors and TCG players. TCG collectors are ones who prefer to collect the cards. They like buying the packs to see what rare pulls they can get, and they- Well, I think that's a great idea, actually. For this section, the only Pokemon I can use are the ones that I get in this TCG pack. Oh, what's it gonna be? Could be anything! Okay, let's have a look. We got a nice energy, a Floatzel, a Rusted Sword. Dartrix isn't in this game. Coughing is in this game, thank God. Gossamer is also not in this game. Rowlet is not in this game. Tootle is not in this game. Snom is not in the game. Kyogre is, wait, Kyogre. Oh my God. Oh wait, that's a, that's an amazing rare. Oh, that's so sick. I love it. Gee, thank you so much. And Cinderace. So wait, so I only get coughing and Kyogre. Okay, the gang's all here, or at least my two. Pokemon are, anyway. We got Mizzle the Drizzler and two packs, the Coffin, because that's what he smokes every day. Now we have to take down Team Rocket and I'm looking very in character right now, let's be honest. And I don't think the God of Typhoons, Rain and being generally moist will have any problems taking down these grunts. This art is so freaking cool. I'm so glad I pulled this, it's great. And the Team Rocket admins are also dying in one hit because Kyogre is so strong. Look how big this fella is in the overworld. Goodness gracious me. Uh-oh, now my rival wants to fight. How terrifying. Wait, did I give Digimon Bayleaf? Oh, yes, for Alligator. Who's the better water type? I wonder. Wow, is it is it Mizzle? Is, am I the strongest? Oh, that's crazy. I feel like I've been unfair towards coughing. I haven't really given him a shot to do his own thing. I've been using Kyogre a lot, so you know what? It's Archer time. Let's see what you got, two packs. I believe that you can solo this easily. He's easily knocked out the first one. Well, done. That's a crit we didn't need. Brilliant. Houndoom comes in, but we can take him down. I believe in you two packs. That's, oh, that's a lot of damage. And also that is a burn. But if you fire back with a poison, then maybe, okay, no poison. Maybe you can miss and fate attack never misses. Okay, sorry, two pack. That didn't work out for you. Fine. I'll get the god of the sea to clean up your mess. Goodbye, coughing. And I've successfully stopped all crime in the country by accident. All I wanted to do was collect my little cardboard sparkly things, and then PSA grade them and sell them for much less than I bought the original packaging for. And now I'm on my way to get the last gym badge. If you haven't liked this video, by the time it takes me to get to the end of this puzzle, I'll be very upset. And oh my god, he's just gone and done it. What a master of the craft. Wait, how do I get out of this one? I don't, oh god, am I stuck? I did it. Now that I've successfully frozen off my balls in this cave, it's gym time, baby. Okay, two packs, I'm gonna give you another shot to prove your worth. You've got this, buddy. I believe in you. Dragon Rage always does 40 damage. So if we get a nice little poison here. Oh, nice. And we get hit with another one. You've got this, Tupa. And he's dead. <laughs> it's never mind. Attempt number two. Can I get an ancient power boost? Please? Nope. We'll try again. Gyarados is dead. Go on. Give me that boost. Still nothing. Good thing I got Blizzard on deck. Oh, it is very chilly out here today. Oh, bring me that ass, Kingdra. I'm ready for it. Mizzle is absolutely broken. And Kingdra died! Didn't. Hyper Beam? <laughs> That's not gonna do anything. Now I finish you with the last blizzard that didn't miss. Probably the craziest thing that's happened in this video so far. Time for the final slot for the Elite Four. Let's see. Lastly, we have the hardcore, lifelong Pokemon fan. This, this is me. These are people who fell in love with Pokemon me too. as a kid and have stayed in love with it to this day. They can list a Pokemon's name, typing, evolutions, generation, and more just by looking at a simple picture or even just a silhouette of it. They get every new main series game on the day it comes out, 
and while they may enjoy other franchises, Pokemon will always be their number one. So they- Well, I know exactly what to do for this. As a celebration of being a lifelong Pokemon fan myself, I've gathered all of my favorites onto a team to take on the Elite Four with. We have Turbro, a not so super speedy slow bro. Goku, one of my original favorite Pokemon, Darkrai. Box, the forest who grew on me after I started posting those locks on this YouTube channel. Newcastle, the Nido King, cause it's the king. Stombie, the Rhydon, that is not quite a Rhydon yet because it's not level 42, but it'll get there. And my personal favorite Pokemon of all time right now, Arcanine, which is named Psycho because it's claimed by a Royal Noodle member on the channel. Thanks so much for being a member, Psycho. And we take our first steps in Kanzo, which was the first region that I ever played in. Let me know what region you played in first. Back when I got my first Pokemon game, Pokemon Blue, and I barely knew how to read. I wasn't even aware that you could buy Pokeballs. I didn't know you could get other team members, and I tried to solo the entire game with my starter or a Kadabra because I love this so much. Ever since getting those original games, I got every single generation. As soon as it came out, I got silver, I got yellow, I got crystal, I got ruby, emerald, and all of them after that. Though I did drop off a little bit when generation five came out. I just didn't want to play Pokemon anymore. And also, by the way, Darkrai kind of sucks when it's not level 100. But Pokemon always kind of felt like home to me. It was always a series that I could come back to no matter what and enjoy. Even the new games had that slight tinge of nostalgia. And I truly am blessed to be able to do this full time as a job now. And no matter how long it lasts, I am really glad that you're here enjoying it alongside me. No matter when you started, if it was generation one or generation nine. Yeah, shout out to all the people that have never actually played a main series game before. Welcome. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy worldwide phenomenon. I feel like I owe a lot to it. So just a thank you for being fantastic and turbo. Don't miss surf anymore, dude. Oh my God, stop missing. This game sucks. Come on, stop flinching. What's wrong with you? Thank you. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, time to take on the Elite Four with my faves. You know, I really do wish I could fit Kadabra in here. There's so many Pokemon that I want to add to this team, but there's just not enough space to. And there goes Stompy becoming one of the best designed Pokemon of all time. It's time to begin. Goku's leading off first with some big Shadow Balls because I forgot I had that TM, but thankfully I remember just before I came in here. And he's proceeded to absolutely dismantle Will's team. I even have to kill a Slowbro. I hate to do it, but I'm sorry, buddy. Will's team was no match for Darkrai. And now Stombie has the opportunity to play with Koga a little bit. Tossing rocks left and right. I mean, let's be honest, the Muck doesn't have a shot, does it? And of course, the Crobat spams double team. How many turns will it take? Oh, I hit him immediately. I guess it doesn't take that many turns. <laughs> oh, I hit him again. The second time in a row. What the? What is going on, Stombie? Got your contact lenses in, have you? The perfect opportunity for Turbro to go a little hog wild on Bruno. There goes one. There's two. Skip a few. And Bruno is gone, gone. I perfectly structured my team to not really have an answer for dark types. So I'm gonna believe in Newcastle focusing his energy. Don't hit yourself and confuse. Damn it! Maybe I shouldn't have believed in Newcastle. Come on, buddy. Nothing but crits. Yes! Oh, he got hit with the poison point, so he's poisoned now, and the crits are coming in. Get a big one right now, we can kill it. Yes, I think the poison's gonna take it out. Good job. Surviving on three Newcastle fires back with an earth power, and there goes Houndoom. And that's the end of Karen. And now only one challenge left remains for the Fantastic fa Six. I don't know why I led with Arcanine. I know always, I knew he's gonna use Gyarados. What did I do this for? No worries, just a quick switch into Goku. I can finally take advantage of this hypnosis, and nice. Nightmare Wombo Combo, and he woke up. God damn it. We'll just try that one again, and it's working this time. Is Bad Dreams enough to knock it out? So close. A little Nightshade will do it. Now the boy's got a Dragonite. Oh, Outrage is doing a lot of damage. But I have a plan. We go into Psycho, get an Intimidate off to lower its attack, and it's still doing so much damage. We swap into Physically Defensive Stombi. He takes the attack. Dragonite gets confused. He hits himself with confusion. Go on, Stombi, throw those rocks. Hang on, you can take another Outrage. Just need you to land one more of these. Dragonite one is dead. He sends out another Dragonite. Now, I know since he did that, it's going to be the Blizzard Dragonite. So the smartest thing for me to do is just let Turbro handle the situation, which he does. Well done. Another Dragonite must be the Thunder Dragonite. So Stombie is the perfect person for this. Rinse and repeat, firing more rocks. Stombie is clean in house right now, destroying them. And for some reason, Charizard comes in next. Don't know why. Don't you know Charizard's cry at the sight of pebbles? And the last Pokemon, Aerodactyl. Crunch is going to take out Stombie. Okay, at least I have Turbro. He should be able to take a crunch. He could not take a crunch. I need Psycho to come in and get an intimidate off. I'm sorry, fella. Can't dodge a rock slide. Well done, Psycho. Newcastle is valiantly battling him and he's against a poison point off. These double kicks are just not doing enough damage, though. No, 
a full restore. Oh, Newcastle goes down. Maybe some nightshades from Goku will help. It's doing a lot of damage, but it's not going to be enough to take out the Aerodactyl. He lands a rock slide, and I think that's going to take out Goku. Oh, no, we only have one Pokemon left. But I've been keeping this one in the back for just this occasion. Come on, Box. You've got this, baby. Just one sucker punch. One sucker punch to end it all, Box. Come on. Yes! Good job, Box. Subnoodle and I are very impressed in what you've accomplished today, Box. I beat Pokemon playing as 10 different types of Pokemon trainers. Except you may be thinking, but Daniel, you missed number nine. What are you doing? Well, if there isn't enough space in the Pokemon World Championships for the PokéNX section, Player. which was These the number nine section the of this video. Fighting game. Poke. Then there's not enough space in my video for it either. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to myself and MNJTV. His link will be in the description. And watch my streams. I stream every day on YouTube.